Hello everyone, um, the air tour there seems to be a fairly popular video, it's getting a lot of views, it's the top video we've had and um, that has kind of been the theme for the last four or five videos, um, they all seem to be outperforming each other which is brilliant and uh, the subscriptions have skyrocketed there in the last 24 hours so big thank you to everyone. Um, today is a this wet day, it's, it's the worst day we've had in, in a good while now um, and we're going drawing a few bales there today is what we're going to do and um, my father's already gone off with the Massey, he's gone uh, doing another job but he's not going to be far away so he's going to load me and unload me and um, what I will do is I'm going to do a bit of a, a hyperlapse I think it's called of until I get to the yard and um, probably show you load it up when I get to the yard so um, I'll talk to you there again shortly thanks very much again for everyone who's liking and subscribing um, it's, it's brilliant all together uh, this is my first time driving this tractor in, in I'd say three weeks to a month and uh, it's kind of unusual when you drive something that you haven't driven for a bit um, what I've mostly been driving in the last week, I suppose, is the or the last 15 days, you can really say, is um, Tier 1 CVX, which is the 130. And there is definitely a different feel to that tractor, to these tractors. These would be Tier 2s, this would be uh, the same as the 1170, but uh, definitely a different feel to them, and definitely different reaction to the accelerator pedal. Uh, which is funny enough you wouldn't think it but there definitely is so I'm gonna stick you on high speed there now and um, I'll talk to you shortly To what we usually post it's usually always machinery orientated but um, this is what we do in the winter um, it's for a local farmer that actually lives away so I look after the livestock for him during the winter and um, today that's what we're going to be doing is we're going to feed these livestock we're going to check if ones alright and um, we're going to clean these boys out uh, just give that a scrape and that's it so I'm gonna click my fingers and you're going to see all the silage pushed in uh, well it's not always that easy but that one worked out alright um, we have a bit of space here so I'm gonna stick in a bale I'll stick the camera up here somewhere so you'll be able to see me putting in the bale and um, I'm gonna use this what they call a hay knife for cutting the plastic so I'll stick the hammer up there now and you'll be able to see a bale going in.
So that's the basics of feeding a bale. Um, fairly happy with the, the quality of the silage. Um, this would have been the last silage to be cut. It was August, I would say, and uh, August was a poor enough month, so happy enough with that. Um, also very happy with the, the chop lint off of the fusion. Um, as you can see there, it's really, really chopping it. So uh, very happy with that. Um, makes the feeding it an awful lot easier. Um, anyway, I'm just going to pike in the remains of this here now. I'm going to scrape these leads out. And there's another unit over there. I'm going to do the same. So I um, suppose that's kind of it for this video really. Um, just shows you a bit something different to the watching machinery the whole time um, obviously a lot of people that are involved with machinery are involved with livestock as well but this is the limit of my livestock involvement for the year so um, thanks everyone for watching and uh, we'll see you for the next video probably the first half of this you're gonna see me going collecting a lot of bales but um, probably make it into two as the longer video seems to um, be more favorable so we'll see you for the next video.